Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. Double honor is unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth, who we will teach you all with much diligence. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to redeem us from the land of our captivity here in America, known the scriptures as Babylon the Great, and likewise from around the rest of the world where Israel has been scattered. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters who are out there listening, learning, you know, um, putting on as the elect, patiently waiting for the Lord's return to get us up out of here, believing on the true names of, 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 of the Son and of the Father, which is Yahweh, and his son name is Yahweh Shai, okay, who in the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Those are the true names, okay, of the Heavenly Father and his son, okay, it's not Yahweh, Okay, it's not Yeshua, it's not Jesus, it's not Jesus, all right? It's Yahweh, the Most High's name, and his son, uh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh, the Most High name, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names, okay? So the, le the name of this lesson will be entitled, And the elect shall praise his holy name, all right? The elect in these times will be praising the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're not going to be, uh, they're not going to uh, lack the understanding of, of, of knowing, of not knowing his name. Are they going to know the name? Okay, because the name of the Most High endured throughout all generations. Okay, it, it doesn't just stop. Or right, when we're born, the, 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 the Lord's name has been here since he's been here. Okay. His, his, his reputation all right, uh, stands behind his name. This is Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. All right. The elect is going to be praising the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in these last days. Okay. And you're going to have those that don't believe in the names, that believe that there's no name, not praising the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his son. Simple as that. Okay. Because right now, under heaven, in, these, in, 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 in this day and breath, Okay, we have the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna read this again, man. Because uh, when when people read the scriptures, they they don't they don't really put 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 the meaning in what they in what it really actually says. Think about what it says here. This is Ecclesiastes or Sirach, chapter 17, verse 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. His is possessive. Okay. His holy name, all right? The Most High's name is he only has one name, which is dreadful amongst the heathen, okay? <laughs> the heathens are even afraid of the names of, of the Most High and his son. This is uh, Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. All right, there is no other men but, but by the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai, that will save us. Because everything goes through Yahweh Shai, okay? You don't just go to the Heavenly Father without going by his son. He is the door. He is the mediator. You don't just uh, uh, Eurostep Yahweh Shai, man. <laughs> you got Jake, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, Eurostepping Yahweh Shai to get to the kingdom, man. It ain't going to work. You're going to get your shit. You're going you gonna to get your shit, you know. You ain't getting it. You ain't going to euro step your way into the kingdom, man. All right? You're going to get your shit denied. All right? Straight up. All right? And Yahweh Shah is going to deny you, man. Because you deny him. You deny his name. All right? Because the Lord's name is here, man. All right? When when the Lord uh, uh flooded the earth, when he led Israel out of uh, Egypt, they knew the Most High's name, okay? And that name is going to uh, get brought back into earth again by, by through fear. People are going to fear the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai again. Because right now on the earth, there ain't no fear of the, of the Most High in the earth, man. People are out here just living like they ain't no God, man. All right? But the Most High will make his name known. People forgot about the God that flooded the earth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that was known as Alashadia in the, in the time of Genesis, man. A demon-like power, man. 
you, you people have forgot who you dealing with, who earth you on. All right, what, what, what space you at? What space, whose space you in? This is Psalms 148 and 13. Let, oh, let me start up, man. It's a lot on here. Just like in any other scripture we bring out, we can start at chapter 1 and just go down, but I'm going to start at 1 here. This is Psalms 148 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. All right, because all these have a being. The angels, the moon, the sun, the stars, they all are living organisms. And they all speak to the Most High. The, the scriptures talk about how the, all the stars have names, man. Each and every one has a name. Praise him, ye heavens of, praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. So they even pray the they even praise the name of the most high. He have also established them forever and ever. He have made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, you dragons in all di in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl. Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth. Is that happening now? No, that is not happening now. The kings of the earth have 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 turned the most high's laws upside down, man. And put and, and, and rewrote everything, rewrote history, man. Alright, so everything is is not in the in the in the in the homage of, of praising the most high, man. It says uh it says both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord. When you look this up, all right, it's Yahweh. Okay. <clears throat> See, it says here, let them praise Yahweh. Here in the Assyrian, the existing one, which is which his name really means he exists or he is, because he is everywhere. Yahweh. Okay. It says verse again, uh, thirteen verse Psalms one forty eight and thirteen. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So point being made, the, the name of the Most High is excellent. Let's look up that word excellent. Okay, because so, so how can an excellent name just be done away with? We see one thing about the elect they're going to reverence the Most High and what, what he has done in the past. Because scriptures talk about how your name, um, it, 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 um, how, where is that written at? T uh, take good heed of thy name. It shall continue with you. Uh, with you uh, more. Uh, let me stop from looking up excellent. More generations. Believe us in Ecclesiastes. Take good heed of thy name. This is a good one. Uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and uh, 1. A good name is better than precious ointment in the day of death than the day of one's birth. All right, good name is better than precious ointment. You think about all the smells in the earth. You brothers got peculiar smells that you like. You're like, mm, that smells good. Well, that's the name of the Most High. When you think about the name of the Most High, it gives a it gives a ple a pleasing uh, 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 um, um, thought to your to your process of uh, a thought it gives a when you when the name of the Most High comes across your thought process is it it is it, it's, it's a good feeling, just like aromatherapy with with, with with different ointments. Okay, use all these fragrances. Well, that's like the name of the Most High. Okay, but here it is. These these people are trying to uh, act like the Most High name stinks, man. Shitting on the Most High name, trying to take his name away, man. All right, the Most High name ain't gone, it ain't forgotten. All right, we ain't got to go up in the heavens and die, die to figure it out if it's true. No, his name is here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They feel like they gotta, you know, go on the other side to see what is true. No, man, the Most High made it evident right now. If he has opened your eyes to see. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven are descended. Who have gathered the wind in his fist. 
who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name if thou can tell? All right. Who did all this? Who who who, who created um um the heavens and the earth and the wind, the waters, okay? The fire, the wood and all this. What's his name and what's his son name? That was here before everything existed. If you can tell. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. I'm a uh and I, and I wanna just get to the point here in this lesson. You know, because no matter what anybody says, brothers have testimonies, and we know the name of the most high is true. Because like the title says, the let gonna praise the name of the most high because they know all right, what they believe in is of a truth and no lie. Because there is no lie of the truth. Okay? It says uh Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay? So the name of the Lord is a strong tower uh, tower, and the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Alright, because we have caught believed on the name of the most high, he's gonna keep us from the hour of temptation. Because we have kept his name, his reputation, what he stands by. He's going to keep us. But the rest of you, uh, you in for a bad one, man. Okay? Because how can, you, how can you call upon the Most High without knowing his name? Here it is. You know about here it is, you know about a God that has done all of these, delivered all the nations. He did, did, he got a son. He delivered the nation of Israel. He did all this. But you don't know his name, man? That don't make no sense. It just doesn't make any sense. It's fable. How you how you how you guys draw the understanding and conclusion to this thing? Like you guys don't have faith, and, and that's and that's what it really boils down to. Faith, it's a gift. All right, and when we praise the Most High for having faith, because it's a gift, and we see that many of you have don't have it. Okay, this is Psalms 44, and I'm gonna close it out with this. It says, if we have Psalms 44 and 20. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretch out our hands to a strange God, shall not the Most High search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Man, so with the Most High, like, if we forgot the name of the Most High, just like before we came in the truth, we didn't know who the hell we was. We, <laughs> we didn't have no thought of knowing who Israel was. But once we once we came across this, the Most High opened it up to us, okay? Because He stirred our mind up by way of remembrance of who we are as a people. Because it was written that we were going to discontinue from our heritage. The Most High searched it out. He already had it written. But you guys are 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 shutting up the kingdom of heaven from men from entering in. Because those names, those names, is 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 power in those names. Straight up and down, and, and if you take away from those, then you take away from the name. You take it out of the book, man, and you're gonna receive the plagues that are written. That's 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 what is written, man. You can't take the name of the Most High out of the scriptures, man. Take His name in vain. But hey, hey, many false prophets in the last days. It is what it is. You know, we just be defending what we have to defend. So I'm gonna close it out there. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Call Allah Yahweh by Shimi Shah by Shimu Kakudash. Until the next one, I say Shalom.